So why do I own a Samiette? Well, Yeti and I are going to talk about that up next on Yeti's Place. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe, click that bell notification, and check out our links down below for all of our returning Yettables. Welcome back. So why in the world do I own a Sammy Ed? Why have I owned them for a number of years? Well, Sammy Eds have been in my family for decades. My uncle has owned a few Sammies in the past from the time that I was little. I loved the breed. They were always really gentle and the floor is squeaky here. <laughs> yes, Yeti, I know the floor is squeaky. He doesn't like the squeaky floor. Sammy Eds are great, wonderful, loving dogs. They love people, they love little kids, they're very gentle. When a child approaches a Samiad, they know to be gentle. When Chewy, my first Samiad, was around my, my grandmother who has, has passed away, he was so gentle with, with grandma because he knew that, that she was older and that she wasn't as strong as an adult, so he had to be gentle. Plus, he was told once that Chewy had to be gentle. He learned right away. Same with little kids. They're wonderful with little kids. I wanted a gentle, loving dog, and Sammy adds, they do not disappoint because all of my uncle's previous Sammy adds that he has owned for decades have always been really gentle and loving and very, very sweet, and that's what I wanted in my dog. Plus, who can resist this gorgeousness? I mean, he's just so cute and so soft and so fuzzy and so lovable. You're very, very cute. Who can resist the gorgeous coat, that happy smile, and the bright sparkling eyes. Who can resist their playfulness? All the Sammy Eds that I've known, they don't bark whenever anyone comes over. If anyone is at the door knocking on the door or if anyone new walks into the house, they don't bark. They, they run up to the person, they sniff the person, they look at the person, and if they like what they see or if they know the person or even if they don't know the person, they start barking at the person to, oh boy, play with me, play with me right now. I wanna, be, I wanna play with you. You have to throw my ball. Come on, let's play, let's play, let's play, let's play. They don't bark for mean reasons at all. They adore hanging out with their people. They are not outside dogs. They should live inside with you. If you have them outside, you have to be out there with them because otherwise they get bored, they bark, they become destructive, they will dig your yard up. So be sure that you are outside with them when they are outside and then bring them back inside the house with you. Because these guys, they love living inside with their people. They are extremely intelligent dogs. They're so intelligent, they don't like listening to people. But the pointy ears make them independent and very smart. And that's okay, because Yeti keeps me on my toes all the time. I love seeing the antics that Yeti comes up with every day. It's quite entertaining. And when I come home from a day at work, Yeti is right there by the door, waiting for me, his tail is wiggling, and he jumps up on me, puts his paws on my shoulder, and gives me lots of kisses. And I look forward to that every day. So that's why I own a Sammy Ed. If you guys are new here, please be sure to subscribe, click that bell notification, and be sure to check out our links down below. For all of you who keep coming back, welcome back, you guys. Yeti and I really do appreciate all of our Yettables. And thanks for watching.